Hey everyone, um, I'm Gianna. Hi, I'm Gianna. Hey, what's up? I'm Gianna. I've owned this van for nine or 10 months and the whole time I've been like, I'm gonna build it out. I'm gonna um, make it into this art van that I can like travel and surf and adventure out of. I think I wasn't really being honest with myself um, that I actually don't know how to build anything and I've never really built anything ever. I'm a full-time artist and I sand wood and can like make cuts on wood a little bit, but that's about it. So I'm definitely like limited in my range of knowing how to build anything. I am gonna make the plan and build out this entire uh, van. I think my boyfriend Corey will also be helping me, but it's pretty much gonna be led by me, which will be um, interesting to say the least. <laughs> oh God. This should be interesting. So this is a Pro Master City and I've actually already done a few custom things to the van. Uh, as far as the roof rack, I had Rack and Road in Seattle install that and then I also got a Thule on the top. Other than that, I've just been binging on YouTube videos watching how people do build vans and trying to just uh, get my confidence up. I have the vision for this van and when I get a vision in my head, it's it has to be executed. I really do think that however long it takes, this is gonna be the sickest art van on wheels you've ever seen. And if you wanna follow along on my progress, like and subscribe as I go along and build this van. It just sounds funny because I never really thought I'd say that. Here's to new beginnings. Just gonna put kill mat on the floor. I'm not gonna use any other insulation because we are kind of limited with space here. So kill mat is basically gonna help with the sound dampening because it's kind of a tin can in here right now and it also has some R value. So I'm gonna see, I might coat most of the floor. I think they say you only need to do like 30% of the van to help with sound deadening, but I'm gonna do a lot of the floor and the wheel wells and then I'll do it up around the walls. And yeah, it's recommended to do this at like between 50 degrees and 80 degrees or something, but it's probably like 45 right now and it's January in Washington. So it's not gonna get warmer than this. So I'm just gonna go for it. I'm also might use a blow dryer to help um, have the adhesive adhere. And then I've also got this fancy roller, Sharpie and knife and then cardboard to cut on. We'll see how it goes. Here we go. I need gloves. Forgot the gloves. Use gloves because it can cut your hand. Uh, all I have is gardening gloves. Say peel. Just go right here. Oh God. Here we freaking go. Oh, it's begun. Roll it out. I think the blow dryer does really help in the adhering it to this because it's pretty cold outside. So I'm gonna keep using that technique and keep rolling. <laughs> kind of some weird holes here. I'm trying my best. Never done this before. Um, I might not even fill these in. I think it'll be fine. Maybe I'll fill that one. Okay, so I've got the wheel wells done and I'm gonna move on to doing it on the walls and the ceiling. The blow dryer, super helpful. Just finishing up putting kill mat on the floor and yeah then i might take a break but it still needs to go on the ceiling and um some spots on the walls but i'm feeling pretty good about things so far okay so i successfully kill matted the whole floor there's some stuff on there but it's all down, did the wheel wells and the windows. And then I'm starting up on the ceiling, as you can see. So I think tonight I'm just gonna finish uh, putting a few more panels up there and getting them up and then be done and start again in the morning. Yesterday I finished kill matting for the most part. 
Um, there's still a few areas that I'm trying to decide if I'm going to cover based on the build, but I'm going to start stuffing insulation. I've got Havelock wool, hashtag van life, so you know it's going to be uh, meant for the van. <laughs> and yeah, I was doing research about insulation and this stuff's nice because it doesn't um, hold moisture and it doesn't really mold or mildew and it can last up to like a thousand years or something. And out here where it's rainy and wet and moist, that was a really good selling point. And then also uh, no vapor barrier. I think you can kind of just pull it apart. It smells like a petting zoo. So you can see all of these holes in here and I'm basically just gonna stuff little pieces of the wool in the holes and apparently just pull it apart and that's how I'm gonna insulate the van. So I'm gonna start with the stuffing and then the bigger sheets and everything are gonna have to go on once I have a little bit more of the paneling ready to go and cut and put in. But um, first step's just gonna be getting the little spots. Okay, so I'm gonna use gloves because this stuff kind of stinks. I don't know. It's like really non-toxic. It's probably the best type of material you could be using, but I'm wearing gloves. This is what it looks like. So I think I might have more than I need, but basically to stuff it in all these holes and stuff, you just pull a piece of it and then you kind of pull it apart. I mean, okay. I don't really know, but this is what I saw on the video. So you pull it apart like this. Ugh. Stuff they didn't get stuff everywhere. And then you stuff it in there. So the wool kind of easily peels apart like this. So that's how I've been pulling it apart. Um, initial thoughts are that it works really well when you like fluff it up. I think I'm like slightly allergic to this. I am allergic to horses. Overall, I think it's gonna be a great option for insulating the van. All right, so the next step uh, is getting out this black metal piece on the floor right here to create some more storage for the battery. This is Corey. What's up? Yeah, so we're trying to take out this black sort of addition that they do in just the cargo versions of this van. And so we can have room as a little extra storage as well as a battery spot. So I've been slowly drilling out these rivets. These are my trophies. Each one is about 10 minutes. Here we go. This is my last one of the top, which is a lot easier. And then I got some more in the corners that I gotta, gotta kind of get out from there. <laughs> Smoking. Why is it smoking? Oh god, it's hot. Oh my god, it's literally smoking. Boom. Sick. Thanks, Corey. High five. Fresh drill bit. That one was so slick. Hello, you good boy. You good boy. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's While Corey is taking out that black uh, piece of metal in the van floor, I'm gonna paint the sub floor. This is a piece of plywood that we just cut off, um, I don't know, a foot or two at the hardware store and it fit right in the van um, in the back, just a normal piece of plywood, which is super nice in between the wheel wells. So this is gonna be the sub floor and I'm gonna paint it with a just hardware store paint and primer acrylic. Um, and I'm using a very old roller and old uh, paint tray. It doesn't really matter what it looks like because it'll be covered up, but just good to get something on the wood to protect it. So that's the next step. Removing these back panels so I can insulate behind them and also we're gonna put wood over them so we just don't need them anymore. So they just gotta come off, which 
it. Oh, I did it. Yikes. That's the insulation they had in there. Nice. I think One it's day, good. And then the beautiful art all here. <laughs> I hope so. So that probably took like two or three hours to get that thing out. Maybe more. Oh, Dang. Oh my God. Heck yeah. And so oh, success. Success. It was uh, a little bit messy, but metal is forgiving. So we're going to sand it up tomorrow in the daylight, clean it up a little bit, put some fresh paint and we'll be good to go. Woo. It's kind of like, I think, day four here. Been working on van stuff off and on between work and skiing and getting outside. So I feel pretty good about where we're at right now. Uh, I just finished painting the plywood board that's going to be the subfloor. So that'll kind of be the next big step is getting the floor installed. Uh, and another thing that we finished was getting that black thing out, <laughs> which you saw. Um, super stoked on that and ended up filling in there were a few holes in the floor and ended up filling that in with uh shoot what's it called it's called jb weld and it's kind of like an epoxy steel thing that you mix and it's for automotive and filled in the holes which i'll show you here and just waiting for that to cure and then, oh, last step was that, yeah, I took out the plastic here and I need to insulate in there. But overall, feeling really good about things. Um, it just felt nice to get the energy moving with the van build. It's kind of been this daunting task in my mind and I'm just realizing that it's one step at a time. And yeah, I just have to focus on the task at hand and eventually it will come together, so. I think that's all for this video. If you wanna follow along on my van build journey, I'm gonna keep posting video updates on all the steps I'm doing to my Ram ProMaster 2021 City. Ram ProMaster City 2021. And yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and stay stoked.